now in this video we're going to connect these two batteries in parallel and first we want to make sure that they are at the same voltage so we're going to set the meter to measure voltage right there pretty straightforward this is an auto ranging meter that's the only setting I need for voltage is V and uh, the red probe uh, stays uh, where it is for uh, almost all measurements okay so we got 13.28 I charged both of these a long time ago and um, so I think this is the voltage that they settled down at that one's also 13.28 perfectly safe to connect them together um, I believe that uh, probably uh, like 0.1 volt uh, difference would be the maximum you want so like if one of these was 13.18 or 13.38 um, I think it might still be okay to connect them in parallel but it's best to get them as close as possible so now I made the uh, jumpers before I started filming so this one is crimped uh, the right way right there we have another spade connector in here that's covered because we got these two that are close together and uh, I accidentally crimped it onto the wire upside down I cr uh, crimped it the right way that's the top that's where you should see the uh, dent the top of the uh, connector but these spade connectors will go on upside down so we're uh, perfectly fine and um, so I'll slide that over and I have this one set so I can either clip something there or set the plastic cover onto it and uh, this one I kind of wanted to put the same over there so I had something to uh, clip the plastic cover on both sides but uh, that's really close it'd be easy to get a short circuit which would be very bad and uh, there we go it still slid on even though uh, technically it's upside down so now for uh, parallel batteries you notice we got negative to negative and we're also going to connect positive to positive so I'll slide the covers off right now and I made the same jumper right there so these are the tops I said a uh, dent I should have said dimple there's a dimple up there since it's uh, these red connectors it's uh, just one dot right there so the dots are on top like they're supposed to be and uh, both connectors are wired uh, the same way and they will slide on so um, let's do this one first and then when we slide the other one on if we did not uh, have the batteries at the same voltage sorry it's going blurry right there and it doesn't really want to go on there there we go you just kind of got to wiggle it and then when you slide it off slide it back on it'll slide on more easily but uh, if we didn't have these at the same voltage you'd see a giant spark when that metal uh, came into contact um, so generally speaking whenever you're connecting batteries and stuff um, you don't want to see a spark you want to avoid that uh, pretty much all the time and uh, there we go and uh, so if there was a big voltage difference they would have started uh, rushing current these do have a BMS in them according to the seller and uh, I don't want to test it out other people probably have um, but uh, hopefully if uh, there was high current the BMS would shut it off but uh, basically try to get them the same voltage and I am going to uh, put the cap on there to again help avoid first off losing the caps and accidentally connecting with something I'll have to try to figure out what I'm going to do with uh, these other caps. So now we'll come back to the multimeter and red probe is set to uh, measure voltage and anything else other than high current. This is a pretty easy meter to use. They don't sell it anymore though so um, I'm, I would link it otherwise because I really like it um, but right after I buy something I really like for some reason they uh, always stop selling it shortly after. Um, but uh, there you can see the voltage is the same 13.28 this does not increase voltage or anything what it does is if you are powering something so these are 7 amp hour batteries if uh, you're powering something that needs 1 amp of current then um, it would go from fully charged to fully discharged in 7 hours if you had one of them now we got them in parallel so the negatives are connected together positives are connected together each one of them is going to provide half the current especially since we have uh, these connectors at the end so you would connect the positive there and the negative there if um, we had it where we uh, connected to these two then this battery might provide more power than that one so it would uh, 
discharge more quickly um but um also this one would uh top it off you know so um but uh, when you got them in parallel it's best to have because a lot of times you'll have like a long series of batteries and in those cases it's especially important to have your uh, connection points at the two far ends right there that way they all have the same amount of wire that's jumping across them in both directions and um so they'll power things uh, equally in that case hopefully that makes sense not gonna drag on about that um but in case yeah we got the positive there the negative there we can power something and um so half of the current will come from one half of the current will come from the other so instead of uh being able to provide one amp for seven hours with just one battery with the two of them we can provide one amp for 14 hours and also if you charge it at the same current it's going to take twice as long to charge so that's what it is they're sharing the power and um so you'll commonly see parallel hopefully that makes sense since i didn't draw a diagram or anything i just kind of made this quick but hopefully you still enjoy it i'll try to make a more detailed uh, video in the future